pride, baby I'm back Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc and i want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today before we get started i need you guys to like subscribe share and hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on please 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 i'm begging you please please share the videos so my new subs i thank you guys so much for choosing me so my old subs i thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me i appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart my videos are done in chronological order so you can always go back and bring yourself up to speed i get asked a lot of questions where am i from how old am i how much time did i do where did i do the, my time at did i do state time fair time how my children what i use on my face listen answers to all of those questions can be found in those previous videos like i said you can always go back bring yourself up to speed i also have a playlist that's in perfect order order hit that playlist and rock out now the only thing that's not included in the playlist are my live streams every sunday night 10 p.m central standard time i do a live stream you can jump inside the chat you can ask me questions sometimes i get to you sometimes i don't um but it's all love the only thing i ask is please do not be disrespectful in my chat now, for the people who want more content, more content is here. The C Have is now open. Every Saturday, I drop exclusive content that's not prison stories, but stories about myself. And the only thing you need to do is hit that little join button at the top of your page or DM me, inbox me, or comment up under one of my previous videos and say, hey, I need the link, and I'll be Johnny on the spot giving it to you. Now, for the people who don't know me, I was told on, I was indicted, and I was convicted of a bunch of felonies. My leading charge is this corrupt organization and conspiracy and right now i'm talking about being an sci muncie that state correctional institute muncie i'm no longer in jail i am in prison i'm gonna say it again state correctional institute muncie i'm no longer in jail i am in prison Listen, after I had that fight with Mira in the yard, um, I was in a really, really bad headspace. Um, my energy was so fucked up. It was heavy. Um, I was really, really trying my best to um, get my thoughts together. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I walked back up inside the unit, I spoke to the to the COs. You know, they was getting familiar with me. I spoke to them or whatever. They asked me, was I all right? Because you can, you can see my emotions on my fucking face. And I tell them, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Um, so when I get inside the cell, I speak to Uncle Sonny. She's laying on her bunk. She walked, she's watching Gunsmoke. Um, I take off my clothing and, you know, I wash my face and I wash my hands and I get up on my bunk and I'm trying uh, to get control over myself because I'm bipolar than a motherfucker. I'm trying to get control over myself. So mind you, I spoke to Uncle sunny it was short but it was hey how you doing you know um she what's wrong with you so i say nothing i'm okay i'm cool you know um she gets the attitude that i don't tell her what's wrong with me so she jumps up out of her bed and she ain't did nothing to you but it's not what you say is how you say it. this bitch like she jump up like she was gonna spill on me or something you know what i'm saying she I ain't did nothing to you. And she looking at me like with these evil ass, beady ass ass. So I, you know, I position myself. Look, what the fuck are you talking about? You coming up here huffing and puffing and everything. Like I done done something to you. First of all, who the, f who came in huffing and puffing? That's one. Two, who the fuck said you did anything to me? You know what I'm saying? See, here's the problem with Uncle Sonny. Um, 
For one, she keep watching all these gangster movies, this gun smoke and Lone Ranger and, and, and cops and all this other shit with these gangsters and thugs and shit on there. And in her head, she was a motherfucking thug. You cannot tell her she won Al Capone or Bumpy Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you been locked up 40 motherfucking years. You know, now this is the seventh time. I'm telling you, this is the seventh fucking time that she done, done you know them puffed and puffed her motherfucking chest out of me and if I knock her ass out up in this motherfucking cell who's gonna stop me I'm trying to be respectful because this bitch is 99 plus 9 years old but you bitch you try me you know what I'm saying she you probably got in tune with that girlfriend of yours if I did it's none of your motherfucking business you know what I'm saying it's none of your fucking business the bitch tell me you need to leave her alone and find somebody more suitable for you like me what Huh? I need to leave Mira alone and find somebody more suitable for me like her? Bitch, if that old ass lady would have put her motherfucking lips on my coochie, I would have beat her motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? You fucking burnt black and mouth. You dried up motherfucking California raisin. You know what I'm saying? You old ass dry date. Fuck you mean somebody more suitable for me like you. So now, now what you gonna do? And try to shoot your old ass shot. Lady, stop talking to me. You know what I'm saying? I turned over in my fucking bunk. Gave this bitch my back. Talk to my fucking back. You know? And pretending like I was going to stay there the whole motherfucking day until dinner. Now, I had nothing more to say to this lady. Even when I stood up for count, I was just over it. You know what I'm saying? And, and truth be told, I had I had the right man to go tell Mira, like, you might want to watch your back. Because Uncle Sonny trying to holler at me. But I wasn't going to do no dirty, dirty ass shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was in my fucking mind. Now, I got up for count, you know, um, and after count is dinner time. So I got up, I had rode a kite, um, I folded that kite up, I got dressed and everything. When they called dinner, I left out, I knew that our unit was going to eat with J unit that night. So have it go, um, I get to the cafeteria and everything, and when I say the cafeteria was unusually fucking quiet. Normally people be talking, you know, having little conversations, laughing and shit, but it was dead silent up in that bitch. Not that it wasn't people in there, cause it was packed. Have it go, this fucking CEO named Baker. Um, if you've ever been in Muncie, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. Um, this dude was a piece of shit. When I say he was a piece of shit, he hated fucking females. You know, you cannot tell me he wasn't gay. Um, not only did he hate females, but he hated inmates. He thought inmates were pieces of shit like he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Not only did he hate inmates, um, he hated black people. You know, he was racist and a motherfucker. Now, have it go, Baker walking up and down. I mean, this motherfucker is walking up and down the aisles of the cafeteria like he's the warden. And he looking at all these females. First of all, if you have that much hatred in you um, for Emmys, why the fuck your bitch ass ain't working in a fucking male prison? You know what I'm saying? Because the men gonna get on your ass. Instead, you bring your bitch ass over here to this female prison so you could try to intimidate some motherfucking body. You know what I'm saying? He was a, he, he was bald headed. He had a fucking um he was tall, white, bald head, had a, a mustache with a beard. Um, he had great eyes, and he was just an evil piece of shit. So he walking up and down, and he tell him, eat your food. Eat your food. Now, mind you, I hated Baker. I had a, I had the opportunity to deal with this motherfucker when I was in blues. I couldn't stand him then. They put him out of blues and put him out in population. So he gets to the table where Mira is sitting. You know what I'm saying? Mira look up and look at me. And you know, I want to say something to her, but she she shake her head and she cut her eyes at him. So he tell her, he eat your fucking food, eat your food to get out. But he's yelling at her. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. I felt so bad and so fucking helpless for that fucking girl. I'm being 100 with you. Because she did not want no parts of dude. You know what I'm saying? And you could tell he hated her. He hated her. Another reason he hated her because she was a she was gay. You know what I'm saying? He was just, listen, he was an all-around piece of shit. He hurry up and eat. Hurry up and eat. And he's just screaming at the back of her fucking head. So 
Motherfuckers is looking like, damn, he doing too much. He shut up. Shut up and get out. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just taking out all his frustrations out on this on us. You know, he's taking it out on her, but he's yelling at us for saying he's doing too fucking much. Have it go. Mira get up and she, you know, she she eat her little last piece of food and she throw her tray away. And she looked at me and she she whispered to me, like, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I was so irritated. Even though I had just punched her up in the fucking yard, I did not like this man trying to intimidate her, not only her, but the rest of the fucking women in the fucking jail. Once again, if you that fucking hard or you that tough, go work in a men prison so they can get right on your motherfucking ass. You know, so that shit, it stuck with me. That stuck with me. That was the first time I had seen cruelty from a fucking CO. You know, CO's say little shit, but it's, it's how much hatred that man had in him. I mean, that shit was just, it was, it was a very nasty experience. Now, so I see, um, like I eat my food and shit and the rest of that fucking meal that I watched that man, um, really, really yell at all the females, you know, you're an inmate, you're nothing and all this other shit. It's like he, he got a kick out of it. And it was a, a, a guard by the name of Mr. F told, tapped him, told him, you know, go take a walk. Like, we got this. Go take a walk. He was just a piece of shit. Have it go. Um, you know, dinner is over with. I go back to the to the um, unit and I make a letter to Mira saying, I'm sorry. And I'm going to take the job in the fucking kitchen. I Meaning inside the, uh, I'm not going to take the job in the kitchen. I'm going to take the job at the fucking uh, sewing factor. One of the reasons why I did not want to work the kitchen no more is because of that man being there. You know what I'm saying? If I had to deal with that shit every motherfucking day, I would go crazy. I'm already crazy as shit, but I would lose my motherfucking mind. So the next morning, um, I, I got up, you know, I had my kite all folded up and everything. I left up out of the unit and went, walked down the walkway to see if I could see Mira so I could pass my kite while I was on my way. Just so happened I did see her. I gave her my kite and I went on my fucking way. You know what I'm saying? I told her I love her. She told me she loved me. You know, um, we we apologized again and all this other shit. I went on my way to the sewing factory. Now the sewing factory was on the side of the E building. E building, it's E building is like a gangway that you walk straight back and it's a little rectangle building, um, four windows with gates on it and a door. Now it's about 60 people that's there. You know what I'm saying? Um, people smoking cigarettes, people in the group dub, um, you know, I'm talking to the little people I know, you know, asking them what do I what to expect about it is sewing factory job. You know, so people explaining shit and everything. Next thing I know, the door pops open. You know, so when the door pop open, this little short round fat bitch, um, she's standing there. Bitch, big is all outdoors. She looked just like the penguin. She was the same size as the penguin too. The penguin from the first motherfucking Batman. Um, white lady. She shut up! I don't want to hear no talking today. Put out those damn cigarettes. Come in, get your tools, sit down. Shut up. No talking. What? The fuck you mean? Sit down, shut up. Like, you don't got no fucking kids here. You know what I'm saying? I get a fucking attitude. Who the fuck is she talking to? So, uh, the chick in front of me is like, yeah, she got, she got a nasty attitude. She was like, she hate <laughs> inmates. She hate, well, why the fuck is she working at a fucking prison? You know what I'm saying? So the girl behind him, she said, now she hate black people. Well, fine, well, 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 she, this bitch needs to stay in her crib, dude, because we are we everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So the other chick behind her said, now she hate her fucking self. You know what I'm saying? I said, she's not going to be talking to me like that. Imagine, this is my first motherfucking day. This is my first day there. So I'm like, she's not going to be talking to me like that. So she tell me, hey, you. Yeah, you. I say, what? She, I said no talking. I said, you don't tell me not to talk. I'm a grown-ass woman just like you a grown-ass woman. She tell me, I don't want to hear your mouth. Man, like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I tell her, fuck you. She tell me, go back to your unit. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. If you send me back to my unit, bitch, I can go to yard and bulldog. I can go to yard and bulldog. You, you ain't did shit. You just... Did me a motherfucking favor. You know what I'm saying? However it go, I go back. I Shit, I leave. I turn around, leave, and I go back 
to the motherfucking building. So when I get up in the building, I tell the CEO's like Robinson back. So the CEO tell me like, hold on Robinson. The CEO come up out of their little booth and walk me over to the cell like you gotta be locked in for the rest of the day. Why the fuck do I have to be locked in for the rest of the day? That fat ass lady called back down to the unit and told them that I refuse to work. So she said she not gonna write me up, but I cannot, excuse me, she said she not gonna write me up, but I cannot um, participate in any activities for the rest of the day. I said, she don't have the authority to do that. Yes, she do have the authority to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, I don't want to work there. If you don't want to work there, you're going to be rolled up and it's a possibility you can go to the hole because I don't want to work in no motherfucking sewing factory. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to deal with this bitch and her fucking racist ass attitude. Here's the thing. Check this out. The sewing factory paid 11 cent a motherfucking hour. 11 cent an hour. I had to be there from 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Every motherfucking day, Monday through Friday. Not only that, but the sewing factory um, did orders for every prison in the state of Pittsburgh. They made all the fucking clothes. Not only that, but you got a bitch who can't control her motherfucking life on the outside, so she come to jail to try to control inmates and talk to us any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Um, not only that, but you telling me I can't leave if I leave this motherfucking job that they're that I'm already seeing that's gonna mistreat me that I get to go I have to go to the motherfucking hole. Like what sense do that make? What sense do that make? So the next fucking day, I went back to the sewing factory. You know what I'm saying? Um, she came out giving her spiel. Shut up! Go talk and get your tools, sit down and everything. So, you know, I had nothing to say. But when I walk in, you know, she put a smirk on her face like she had did something smart. She put a smirk on her fucking face like she really, really had did something smart. Um, like she had got down on me. I don't like people getting over on me. You know what I'm saying? If you try to get over on me, I'm going to do everything in my power to get over on your motherfucking ass. So I went in just like everybody else. I grabbed my tools and everything. And the lady tell me, um, you know, I want to show you how to do some practice runs. You're going to be sewing today. It's uh, 15 tables. Each one of them got a sewing machine. It's three other parts in the back, um, in the back of the building. They all got different stuff going on up in them. But she showed me the table I be in. Um, I sit down with my tools. And which was like a with scissors, a stitch cutter, and all this other shit. She gave me a whole bunch of pieces of scrap material. Told me to make lines. Instead of me making lines, I made purses and backpacks and shit. And that's when she realized that I really can sew. So she gave me 200 motherfucking shirts that she want me to stitch a straight line across the back. um, To tack in the inside of this shirt. But since you motherfuckers thought y'all was going to get down on me, what I did was I stitched up every fucking hole on these motherfucking shirts. I stitched up every hole. I stitched up the sleeves. I stitched up the pockets. I stitched up the motherfucking necks. You know what I'm saying? When I don't want to do something, I don't want to do it. What you're not going to do is lie and try to make me do what you want me to do. You're not going to enslave me. You're not going to do none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I will fuck up yo. I will fuck up what you got going on every single motherfucking time. I did not sign my name on the name tag. What you have to sign your name on the name tag, letting them know who did what work. Have it go. At the end of the day, I turned in my tools. They searched me out. You know what I'm saying? I went on back to my unit, um, went to dinner and all this other shit when went, went, went in my unit for the rest of the day have it goes the next day when I got to the sewing factory um, they picked out of all the people who showed up they picked four people to stay and the rest of us they sent us back to the unit why they sent us back to the unit because they needed motherfuckers to unstitch everything that I had sold up I slowed up their whole process for two weeks motherfucking straight. Every time they put a piece of clothing in front of me, I sewed it all up. You motherfucker, won't nobody be wearing no motherfucking shirts around here. Not only did I do that, but I sewed pockets on the motherfucking pants. We need motherfucking pockets. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers won't allow us to have, have pockets because y'all talking about we can have shit in them. I put pockets on the pants. They have to undo that shit. Have it go. Don't try to force me to do shit. Y'all be smooth. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.